In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up a cross-sell post-purchase flow in Klaviyo. So we want to go over to flows, create flow. Now in here, I'm going to type in cross-sell. Oops, cross, okay, it's going to go this way like that. So um, we want to go to this one here if you want. Okay, nice. So this one's going to be a follow up after purchase with a friendly product review request email that also features other popular items a customer might be interested in. Now this is going to send 14 days afterwards, but you can change this to quicker. So you, you're going to need people to have bought stuff from you for this to work. Now I'm going to click create flow. I'm also going to show you in a minute how to do how to change it up depending on what you want. So the trigger is someone's um, Someone's placed an order, I think, here, and you can see, yeah, here, people will enter this flow when they fulfilled order. So when the order's been fulfilled, um, and yeah, okay. So you could change this to when someone's purchased something, if you wanted to, someone's placed an order, but anyway. Now this is the wait time. So this is, you can change it here. So this is 14 days because um, they're doing, this is a product review cross sell, but you can change this to like, one day if you want to do like a cross sell like a day after or something like that it also delays it to a sp until a specific time of day you can change this if you would like to um you could do it specific based on the, what the person when they shopped at so if you did 24 hours you know that they're probably going to be on their phone at that time because they were the day before so next here is where we get into the good stuff, which is the email itself. So first of all, what you want to notice is if this green box is ticked on, I mean, smart sending is on and smart sending basically means that it's not going to send someone this email if they've received an email in the last like 24 hours, I believe it is. So we want to go here, click edit. Now here you can go to um, this change template and it's going to change it to a, you can pick different templates. I'm going to pick this base one here. Um, and we're going to start with the subject line. So don't keep it to yourself. The subject line is the first thing they're going to see on the email. So when you get an email from on Gmail, for example, it starts off with the per the uh, company name. So the sender name here is EZL. And the second line is going to be, then the main thing is going to be the subject line. So it's going to be basically the title of it. And after that, you've got the preview text, which is basically a subtitle. This is going to be in bold. This will not be. So you want a good hook here, which is going to hook the customers in. It's got to be relevant. Um, all that good stuff. Now, once you've done that, you've picked what you want to do. You don't need to worry about this up here name. This is just for your own reference. The customer won't see this. So you can edit email and there's a lot of options depending on what you can do. So as I said, this one is going to be a review kind of one. So you could say, I hope you enjoyed this product. If you did, then leave us a review and why not try this complimentary product, for example. So here they're going to have dynamic products. So this is going to be the product that they have purchased, I believe. Yeah. And there's going to be a button there to review it. Now you can change this for, for the product they've just ordered and remove the review button if you would like to. And down here we've got the, you may also like section. So you can have this dynamic or static, um, depending on what you'd like to do. You can change all of this and I would recommend that because it's going to be pretty crap if you leave it like this. Now you also want to look at it on mobile to make sure that it looks good because a lot of people will, it will be on mobile. You can also preview it to make sure everything works. If you have say dynamic name tags and see there's a dynamic organization tag there, for example. So you want to save and exit once you've done that and press done and you've edited that email and that's good to go. So the flow is going to go when someone's fulfilled an order, it's going to wait 14 days. It's going to send them this. You want to put this onto live and that's going to make it ready to go. You can hit exit here and boom, you can see that it's now live. So every time someone places an order 14 days later, it's going to send them this review cross sell flow. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like subscribe and comment down below that it worked. Thank you for watching.